Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm so happy to see you today. So today we're going to be working with teen numbers minus 10 and then we're going to work with teen numbers minus large single digit numbers. Let's get started. Remember, this is subtraction. So we have, let's look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So we have 10 of these. And then if we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm sitting here with 17 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There you go. Now, I'm going to take 10 away. What do you think that's going to do? So is it a 17? Let me put that down here. So 17 has 1 10 and 7 1s. If I take that 10 away, I should just have 7. Let's take a look. This is the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That goes away. And then I have 7 left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Easy peasy. Let's look at a different number. The next subtraction problem we're working on is going to be 14 minus 10. There's so many different ways to show this. But first, let's take a look at this here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 red blocks and 1, 2, 3, 4 orange blocks. So there's 14 in all. 10 plus 4 is 14. So therefore, if I take away 10, I should have 4 left. Right? Well, let's take a look at this here, where I have 14 minus 10, and that's going to equal a number. We already know it's 4, but let's look at it a different way. If I take away this 10 and this 10 here, because it, then it becomes 4 minus 0, which is equal to 4. Mind blown. You see how I did that? I just subtracted those... Uh, this 110 and this 110 because they were in the tens column and then transferred it down and it becomes 4 minus 0. Different ways to think about it. Let's look at our next number combinations. So I'm going to work with 19 minus 10. We've shown you different ways to do it. I have blocks here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 red blocks. I can just compare it and go, well, hey, there's 9 orange blocks. If I take 10 away, I'm going to have 9, right? Let's look at it a little bit differently. So if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hmm. Wait a minute. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hash marks in that row. What I can do is just say, well, wait a minute. I can count that up and I've taken 10 away. I'm going to erase those 10. Count these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's equal to 9. So 19 minus 10 is equal to 9. Okay, friends. This is the easy peasy one. It's 12 minus 10. And here I have 12 objects. And it can be 12 of anything. If you said, hey, I have all these different cookies or different coins, we can look at that too. But here I have just 12 different objects, and I want to take away 10. Well, let's take away 10. So 12 minus 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There, we have two objects left. So the answer of 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Next up, we're going to be working on teen numbers minus a large single digit number. Our first step is going to be 15 minus 9. You may see it also as 15 minus 9. And that's where we get, we're like, well, wait a minute. There's more ones down here than there are up here. How do we do that? Well, there's different ways to do it. I can show you over here, there, we can count up. What we're going to do is we're going to add up from here. So here I have 15 
blocks, there's 5, 10, 15 blocks, and we can pull them apart and do all that other stuff, but wait a minute, let's take a look at this. So we're going 9, and then uh, to get up to 15, we're going to count 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15, so the answer is 6. Our next numbers are 14 minus 9. We can count up, but let's use the blocks this time. So hold on a second. So if I have 9, right, right here, and I go, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then I would have to add a block, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. So if I remove that 9, how many do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5. We can do it in the equation as well. 14 minus 9. We're going to count up 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Count my hash marks for counting up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got the same answer. There's 5. I know you can do it. Okay, friends, our next number of combinations is going to be 17 minus 9. But wait, I have coins doesn't matter. You just treat them like objects. They're all different kinds, different values, but we're not looking at the values of the coins. We're looking at the number of coins. So if I have 17 and I take away 9, let's take a look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I took away 9 coins. Okay. Now what do I have left? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. Let's verify and validate that answer. So our answer, we know the answer is 8. And what I want to do is I'm going to do the count up. So 17 minus 9. We count up or add up. So 9, we always see the number here, 9. And then we start writing right after that 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's count it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. We validated our 8. Okay, our next team number and large single digit numbers are going to be 15 minus 8. Now we can add up. There's multiple different ways, but here's the deal is that if you remember your what your 8 and 8 large doubles are, so 8 and 8, so 8 plus 8 equals 16. Hmm. So 16 minus 8, right? If I take away this 8 over here and over here, that is equal to 8. But that's one more, because if I add if I add one here, I have to subtract one here as well. So I take 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. Boom. Let's take a look at that with the blocks. Again, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I have three groups of 5, which is 5, 10, 15. If I take away 8, so there's taking away 5, minus 3 more, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. Validated our answers in different ways. We can count up, we can bring it down, however you want to do it. Let's take a look at a couple more combinations here. Let's look at 14 minus 8. Oh boy. And I can use blocks, I can do all this stuff. And it's like, well, wait a minute, here's some 10 rods. No, I don't want to do that. Let's just add up. Again, we can leave it in this way or we can put it vertically as well. But this is horizontally. Let's just take a look at it. We can add it up. We can start with 8. And we say 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay? So 8 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 14. And if I subtract 14, or 8 from 14, I get 6. Notice how I'm showing you addition and subtraction because they're related. Yeah, our last number combination is 13 minus 6. Let's take a look at that. So 13 minus 6. Again, I love doing this. 12 minus 6 is equal to. So 6 and 6 equal 12. 
So 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Well, wait a minute. This is plus 1. Okay. And then I have to subtract 1, all this other stuff. So if this is plus 1, then wait a minute. I have to add it over here, too. So I can add a plus 1 over here. So that would be 7. Validation time. So I have 6. I can say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Boom. We got it. Hey, this got you through some subtraction. It can't seem difficult, but it's easy peasy, and I know you can do it. Until next time, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. Please remember to watch, learn, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.